this salt case, so you can see him, he has got this multiple subcutaneous nodules. So people who have seen this patient, this is a uh, neurofibromatosis. So when you see it, you know that there's a neurofibromatosis patient with neurofibromatosis. So now there is a mass on the right thigh, which is kind of big mass, right? So you are given, you are asked to examine this lump. So first thing that you must do is, as I told you earlier, you must get the consent from the patient, have a chat to him, get the name and the age, right? And ask about this particular lump. This elderly gentleman, he can't remember his age, but he's like uh, maybe around 60, 65 or 70, uh, has said that this lump has gradually got worse over the period of two years now. And it has been operated once before as well, and then it has recurred. So those are the things that I got from the history. And when I examine, I can actually say there's a big lump of 15 and 20 centimeter in length and about 10 centimeters in width. And then I can see a heel surgical scar, nice linear surgical scar overlying the lump. And then I can see some dilated blue color veins over the lump. And, and there is no redness or overline, overline skin except for these veins. And when I turn the leg, I can't see any other, but this lump seems to be extending a bit laterally as well and behind what I'm checking there's nothing so these are the things that I can see from oh, inspection right now I'm going to touch the lump so I just uh, initially I asked whether there's any tenderness see I mean yeah, no. so I'll be very careful with my examination he says there's a bit of pain right when I examine there's when you compare with the other side there's definitely there's warmth in this lump Right. And there's a bit of tenderness because of that my examination will be limited. Right. So what first I'm going to decide what is the tissue plane of this lump. So when I move the lump, move the skin, skin moves without the lump. So there's no skin, simply no skin attachment. I can pinch out the skin, but there's a little bit of attachment over the scar, but apart from that, it seems to be a not attached to the skin because I can pinch out the skin when I do this test also the skin moves without the lump next I will try to hold the lump and try to move it so it moves the whole lump moves as a big bulge so there is no bone attachment right? this lump is not attached to the bone because the limb doesn't move when I move the lump if there's bone attachment when I do this movement the the leg also should move, so there is no bone attachment. Now I will ask him to see. I mean, how much other and that feel other current, right? When he tends the muscles, other current, apo. There is a limitation to his movement, right? So now I this know that this lump is not in the skin; it is in the muscle compartment. It's attached to the muscles, right? And in the quadricep group of muscles so when I check for the sensation there seems to be good sensation how do I make a diagnosis or presentation I should say that tell that he is a 68 year old patient coming with this lamp over his right uh, right thigh uh, which has been there uh, for two years and actually has been operated two years back with the same lamp and it has recurred so when I examine the lump, the lump overlying skin looks normal except for a linear scar which has healed completely and I can see dilated veins but there is no redness over the lump and the lump extends laterally as well, mainly occupying the quadricep group of muscles. I check posteriorly there is nothing and medially also there is nothing. And when I palpated the lump, there was warmth in the lump, when you compare with the other side. And it is muscle is not in, in the quadricep group of muscles. So my putting all everything together, I feel that this may be a, some sort of a sarcomat sarcomatous lesion, either 
uh, one of those neuromas has converted into a sarcomatous stage or a, uh, a, a sarcoma rising in the muscle. So that differentiation I can't clinically do. But with other findings, I'm saying this is a sarcomatous stage because he is a known patient with uh, neurofibromatosis, so he's known to have neuromas, and these neuromas can undergo sarcomatous changes. And over the last two years, these have grown rapidly, and then this has recurred. Overlying, there's dilated veins, so there seems to be increased blood supply. The, clear, the lump is warm, right? And it is in the quadricep group of muscles. So all these things are in favor of a sarcoma, a neurosar maybe a neurosarcoma, uh, a change of a neurofibroma, or a uh, sarcoma rising in the muscles.